Good morning. I believe it's August 26th. It's uh, still pretty early in the morning, about 7 o'clock. And uh, we're just going to uh, see about uh, pressing our pistons out of this uh, big block behind me here. Should be interesting. Stick around. Moving over to uh, the problem I have with this block and frozen pistons rusted right in there. I've come up with uh, this little jewel of an apparatus do for outfit what I got there is I'm uh, started out with the forklift I got the forks together the forks are uh, blocked apart by that big uh, beam there uh, sitting on the ground got chain uh, coming up around trapping that big beam up on top of the uh, bottle jack and a 4x4 four four between the bottle jack and the face of the piston. Now inside here, last night I did, uh, you can see the water there, I poured hot water in it overnight and then uh, it has seeped down there about a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch or something from last night's level. So we're going to get, uh, put this camera on the uh, tripod and we'll see uh, what's going to happen here this morning. We'll try to push that piston out. And then when that's out, we'll go to the next piston. We're getting close. Going to uh, set this up again for a little bit deeper pull or push. We're going to get her though. Coming down to the board there, so I'm going to start up the, uh, the uh, forklift and raise uh, my assembly up. Hopefully this doesn't fly apart and land on the camera, because that'll be my luck. We have the wrist pins out, so it's just got to push out the top uh, rings, and it should drop. We've got the uh, oil ring out. I'm going real easy now. Well, it never landed on the camera, but pretty damn close. Here we're on the second one. This one's going way easier as expected because it was uh, froze already exposed to the inside of the crankcase, like an inch or so of the piston. So it's going a lot easier. Okay, that's down as far as it'll go, so I gotta stick my, uh, I put this little spacer block in there. Put the spacer block in there and then uh, give it more room and then it'll raise the forks up as well and we'll pop that one out too.
Okay, we are uh, got the camera rolling, we got it raised up. We're on the second piston and it's almost out, it's coming to the wrist pins, but uh, we're going to start jacking on her and I got the camera well back now. Because I know it wouldn't turn out twice in a row trying to do the same thing. Getting quite a bit easier. So we got the uh, wrist pins out. Success! We got uh, that all fell out of there. Never landed on my toes or broke the camera or nothing there. So we we're doing pretty good. Just as the sun's coming up over the mountains there, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to see if I can uh, take some kind of a shot of these bores to see how good or bad they are. I don't think they're uh, incredibly bad as not as bad as what I thought they would be you can see the clearer clearer areas where the pistons were locked up there for 70 years or whatever this is the second bore I think a uh, little ball home we'll clean them up and uh, I think those pistons will hopefully uh, run inside this block again these uh, pistons are actually in pretty good shape. A few of the rings are loose. I don't think it'll take too much to get them uh, all the way loose. We'll uh, clean them up and try to get those uh, rings freed up there. You know, I'll try everything. Hot water and wash gun and maybe just sitting them in a pail of uh, some kind of oil for the next while. Because the next stage is coming up, which is the removal of the crankshaft. So that's it for uh, this video. We will uh, sign off for now and we will catch up to you later.